Hello, my fit fam. So in this video, you are going to see my entire process on how I bulk prep my meals. You'll also see the staples that I will be having for the week ahead while I am in a fat loss phase that could help you if you are looking to drop body fat. You are new to my channel. Hello, my name is Ella and I am a woman's fitness coach. You see a lot of training on my channel, but we all know that nutrition also plays an important part, especially when it comes to fat loss. What's really important is to prepare, that is by prepping. In order to help you achieve your fat loss goals, if that is what you're looking to achieve, then it's really important to set yourself up for success. I usually time block for about an hour or two. Obviously I have to go and do the food shopping. I do have a video on the food shopping that you could go check out on my channel. I'll pop it in the description box. So go watch that after you watch this. I did my food shopping this morning. If you are working towards fat loss or any kind of goals, even if it's building muscle, then it's important to prep. Often people think that when it comes to prepping, yes, it's time consuming. Just time block a couple of hours, do everything in bulk, which is what you are going to see in this video. So let's dive straight into what I have got and then you'll see the process of chopping up the meat, the staple as well. Okay, just from this angle, firstly, I just want to over the protein sources that I will be having. Eggs, so they're really good to have easy on the go. I usually have them boiled. So what I'll do shortly is I'd actually chop these up and then I'll weigh them out. My veggies spread over here. Usually with the veggies, I tend to cook them on the day. With my bulk prep, I'll chop up the protein first and then I'll spread them across the five days. My staples for carbohydrates will be rice, which I will cook in a second. Process is cook the rice, and then while the rice is being cooked, I will chop up the protein. For dinner, I usually have noodles. I've been loving the noodles, so I've been having that with the protein. Usually just before each meal, that is where I will prep my veggies. I've also got other snacks here, something that I usually have throughout the day, which I don't prep. I love dark chocolate. And as you would have seen in my other video, I am a big fan of 95%. Let me know in the comments section below if you are a 95% girl. I've also got these snacks as well. I don't really like using the word snack because they're not really snack, but as long as it fits into my calorie budget of the day, then I'm sweet. Usually when I am in a fat loss phase, I will opt for lower calorie foods. It is a low sugar. I do have this bar. I'm not sure what it's called, but I will portion this. I'd literally chop this up and then portion it for three or four days. So just something for funsies. When it comes to preparing, you need to make sure that 80 to 90, 90% wholesome nutrient dense. So as you could see, I try to keep the volume high here for the veggie sources. Protein is a non-negotiable for me and I will have that for the week ahead. Also wanted to mention about milk. Usually I have unsweetened almond milk and they're really low in calories. This would really go well with protein powder. I do have, sometimes I do have protein powder. Unsweetened almond milk is good to go with any shape. I've also got cabbage. When you chop them up finely, they really add volume to rice. So I will be having rice as my carb source, but the portions are just lowered. Usually when I am in a fat loss phase, I will have the same foods across the board. It just means that I have less calories to play around with. You know, this is where we need to be a little bit smarter with our food choices. I'll still have rice. I'll also pair it with some cabbage just to give that volume to make the rice seem like it's more. So this is just what works for me. And I actually really do feel better because I'm adding more veggies to, more veggies means more fiber, more nutrients to my daily intake. I just quickly over here. So I've got some bok choy. I love bok choy. Like it is literally, my favorite. I have zucchini. Zucchini is also really good because when you grate it into, so I use like a grate thingy. I don't know what you call it, like this. I will just go into my small kitchen and actually show you. So it's just this one. 
<laughs> See, when you grate it, it becomes like noodles and really gives it that volume. So when you are in a fat loss phase, it's really simple. I, I think one of the pros when it comes to fat loss, it's just, it's so simple. It's just have more veggies. What I do is I use spices. I showed this in my last video last time. Oops. A zucchini fell off the table. So yeah, you'll see me sort of prep the, the entire process. It will just literally take me about an hour. Firstly, I will start off with the rice. I use this rice. I will wash the rice. Make sure you wash the rice and have a rice cooker. If you don't, then that's totally cool. Rice cookers are a game changer and I think that they are should be a staple to everyone's kitchen. You literally can just bulk so much rice and then spread that out throughout the week. First things first, what I'm going to do is wash the rice and while that's cooking I will then prep the meat so yeah you will see that now with cooking the rice make sure you wash the rice for five days worth while that is cooking i will then get started with chopping up the protein Just chopped up my protein sources, chicken, beef, turkey, and kangaroo meat spread over the next five days for lunch and dinner. It literally took me about 10 minutes to chop these up super quick while the rice cooker over there is being cooking the rice. And now I'm going to weigh it out. I pretty have a rough idea of how much it is each. Fry it together and then see the end result. It is so basic. My protein sauce ready for the next five days. I'm going to get frying with these. So now that I have chopped up the protein, the rice is still cooking. I will now start to begin the frying process. And when it comes to the protein, how I fry it, I'm very simple. I use these spices, it's called mingles. These just come in different flavors, which adds spice and flavoring to the protein. I also do like paprika to coat with my protein, it just gives it that smoky, sweet flavor to it. And I also do add pink salt now. That is the sound of the rice being done. Let me know in the comments below if your rice cooker does that as well. It took 15 minutes to chop up. I'm gonna fry it. It's gonna take probably another 15 minutes in the process. So let's get to it. Two pans that are going on here to make life easier for me because multitasking while it's frying I will add the spices Just fried the protein sauces. This is going to be divided into five lots. This is for dinner and for lunch. Usually I will have a couple of eggs that I will boil on the day. The rice has already been cooked. 
out. It is looking fresh. I love that. This is pretty much the bulk of my protein, which will be spread throughout the five days. Then I have the rice. If I could open it, the sources are the rice, pad thai in the morning, coffee and crumpets with a protein spread, and my two main meals, which will be lunch and dinner. Two plates here, five portion sizes. So every single day of the week for the lunch, one main meal, I have my protein sorted. For dinner, which is my second main meal, which will be this lot here. For every single main meal, I have a protein source ready. When it comes to the veggies, I will cook it on the day because I like to retain its freshness. I am fortunate enough that I work from home, so I am able to do that. However, if I am out, then I will try to cook it the night before or in the morning. I'll just get up a little bit early and I'll prep the meals for the rest of the day to put together that main meal. Everything here took me just under an hour to get this whole completed. As long as I've got my bases covered, which is the protein source, I've got my carbs and then the veggies would be prepped on the day. My snacks would be the dark chocolate and then towards the end of the night I will have a shake and I'll just add one scoop of custard into the unsweetened almond milk that you saw earlier. Low in calorie, they fit the macros, they have protein in it. And because it's custard, it's just got that sort of thick texture to it. I am not sponsored by Muscle Nation. I have been using these custard protein for a very long time. Coffee with my morning coffee. And then towards the end of the night, if I need to fit my protein intake in, then I would have just a serving of custard protein with unsweetened almond milk and it is so yummy. So as you could see, it is so simple, it is so minimalist, especially if you are someone that is time poor, this is such a great way and you also want to have the flexibility as well. So although I've got these bases, they're not the main meals, on the day I will put together. I hope that you enjoyed this video where I bulk prepped my protein, cooked my rice and sort of give you some insights of my meal prep for the week ahead. As you could see, it is so simple. It is minimalist because I am someone that really values my time throughout the week. I don't want to decide on anything else, but also have the flexibility to add in those soul foods that I'd like. So I do have a bit of flexibility, but at the same time, I have my protein sorted. And if you want to see more of these videos where I share more of my meal prep and foods and nutrition, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I just want to remind you that your mind is your most powerful asset and that you could achieve anything that you put your mind to. I'm sending you so much love and I will see you in the next one.